Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going over to the fortress to fight Lemmy. Or at least I think. I looked it up and I think this is supposed to be Lemmy. So I'm going to say it's Lemmy. It better be Lemmy. I'm tired of getting the Koopa Kids names wrong. Ah! So as you can see, we've got these flipping, rocking blocks that appear to be on a center axis, but aren't actually attached to anything. Hmm. Weird, and that's the gimmick of this castle, is blocks that are all over the place and weird like this. Yeah. You get the idea, and is there a power up in here? There's probably a power up in there. Ice flower? I don't think I want that. Yeah, I'm gonna... Whoa, 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 I see a secret. I see a secret, but yeah, I don't want that flower. Door! I do want the door, though. So let's see what's in here. Ooh, spike ball combined with flippy platform. Yeah. Must Ooh. get coin. Must collect them all. Gotta catch them all. Yes. Okay, I'm going getting a little bit crazy here for the star coins, but I want that 100%, baby. So that's coin number one of the fortress. And you exit all the way up here. The door that we just went in was down there in that alcove. And this is the little elevator segment. Do 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 these things here, no, that's solid. I, was, I thought that there was going to be an opening at that big block there, but I was mistaken. Is there going to be one over here? Nah, I didn't think so. The pattern looked exactly the same. So let's just go up to the elevator, and I didn't mean to collect that, but whatever. I'm not going to be able to go back down anyway. And oh, I remember this. You gotta avoid these guys. Yeah, by either freezing them and killing them off like that. Uh, otherwise, they'll just keep coming back to life. Oh, pop block. This is something that I want. I think. Because I'm. I think I have to use this to get a coin. Unless I'm thinking of some other level. Uh, but I can't use this to kill a ton of dry bones all at once. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I remember. I remember. Keep those spike balls on here for as long as you possibly can and prevent them from being destroyed by Ow, grabbing the pow blocks that you see along the way and protecting them. Uh, you don't want the pow blocks to go off, otherwise you'll lose your spike balls and you won't be able to get the coin. You'll see why you need to do this in just a minute, but grab this and keep this from... No, 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 no. Oh, I'll take that hit. I'll take that hit for a thousand for the coin. <laughs> so that's how you get that coin. And I missed probably a power up or one up there. I should have just went along the right side instead of rushing upwards. But oh well. Wait, wait, wait. I need to be up here. And there we go. Do I want to? Yeah, I want to be on the tip of this. Oh, I bet you I want to be up there. Oh, I definitely want to be up there. Happy days. And you come over here so I can hop over you safely. Thank you. And is there going to be a power-up? That was a lucky guess! I just did a random jump there. I was going to actually jump along the wall here. But I, did not, I didn't even know that was there, seriously. Well, anyway, I needed that for the boss! Well, I don't necessarily need it, because the boss doesn't really have much in terms of attacks. Like, th these balls, they don't hurt you at all. Only he can hurt you in his shell. And, oh, no, 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 you can also bounce you off the edge like that, but you can just wall kick yourself back on. Um, but, yeah, he, he can't really hurt you, as, as you can see there. Uh, balls just don't do anything. He, they, he tries to knock you off. I guess that's the gimmick, but he fails pretty miserably, I have to say. Woo! <laughs> Indeed. And... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in the last part. The secret exit to the ghost house down there opens up the path to the cannon. 
The normal exit opens up the path to the item house and the fortress. Though the, you, you can get to the fortress normally. Oh, there's a toad. <laughs> I don't want to rescue the toad. Um, yes, I do want to save, though, definitely. Uh, you could just take the path around that ring to the left side and, uh, you know, this place over here and just go to the fortress or brave the uh, house. You definitely want to go through the house if you want 100%, so... Yeah, just saying, but you have multiple paths. Like, this level also has a secret exit, but this one's pretty unique in the fact that you can't get the secret exit the first time you visit this level. You actually have to come back here later after you press that switch off to the right side, in case you didn't see that. Oh, penguin suit! Okay, what's in here? Just for, nah, I didn't think there would be anything. Uh, Volk it! Yeah! That's some skills. Uh, there probably won't be anything in there, in that box, because I already got the power up there. Um, can I just, like, ground pound these? Yes, I can! And I can also pick them up, too! I forgot about that. These ice blocks are liftable! You would think they would be very frozen together or something like that, but that evidently isn't the case! I wonder if they're, like, uh, the blue blocks from Super Mario World, where they kind of, like, dissolve through time. I don't think they are. Uh, down... Oh, wait, that's not... Hey, that's not the place I'm thinking of. Never mind what I was gonna say there. Um, later on, you'll notice that there's all these little dotted lines. When, when I press a switch, all those will become solid red blocks. Woo! No, 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 I almost died there! <laughs> I should not be so reckless with my penguin suit, and... Coin! Yeah! Oh, wait, 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 I need to... I need to survive. Need to make it. Need to keep my pocket change. And there's the checkpoint. So... I forgot where the last coin is, though. Oh, I was gonna jump down there onto those blocks that aren't there, and that would have been a bad result. Oh, okay, the secret exit, or I should say, excuse me, the normal exit, you'll see what I mean later, is down there. Um, there's a, I don't really want to take a power-up that I don't need. Well, I, I could have hit that block for a one-up or something like that, but yeah, who cares. Uh, to get across this, just jump on top of the blocks. Oh, wait, I want to get up there, don't I? I definitely want to get up there! How do I get up there? <laughs> um, yeah! Now oh, that works. And there's a one up in there. That's useless! Dang it! <laughs> wait, wait, there is the coin! I, hmm, no wonder I didn't remember where it was, because it was so easy to get, I didn't have to put much thought into it. <laughs> so, now I'm waiting for, yeah, this giant one! This giant floating block in midair. I don't know where it's floating from. That down there is a bottomless pit. If you fall down there, you die. How is it staying up? How? Unless it's so tall that it slides along the ground? But if it's a bottomless pit, there shouldn't be any ground. <sighs> don't question the game logic, people. Don't question it, or the universe will implode. Well, nice to get all the coins right away. And this will unlock two areas. One goes to the item house, the other goes to 3-5 over here, which is where I'm going to. Uh, two exits in here as well. I'll be covering both, of course. Gotta do that. Ooh! Spin block for the win! And I want... I want... Me want... Oh, what a waste! Um, once you get the switch pressed, you can also come back here for the secret exit. Needless to say, the secret exit is, once again, block-based. Well, if that's not implied by the blocks, I should say. And, uh, you'll notice that this thing is spinning clockwise, and it, there appears to be... It appears to be attached to a screw head. Maybe this screw is attached with Loctite or something like that. Now show! What the heck? I didn't mean to drop that! Anyway, as I, was, as I was saying, the screw might be attached to it, the nut with Loctite or something, because it's obviously not unscrewing. Or maybe they're using a washer or something like that to keep it tight. I don't know, man! But I'm just trying to make sense of all this. And I've been doing a pretty bad job of it. 
But that's okay, you don't have to make sense. It's just a game, and I forgot to hit this switch. The chance of me collecting all these blue coins is slim to none from the way I was positioned. So I'm just gonna take what I can get. You don't get anything for getting them all anyway. So let's just wander around this block track here and collect coins as we go, hopefully. <laughs> Not accidentally drop your block. <laughs> Not there, please. I wonder how I dropped that anyway. I don't recall pressing the button unless I accidentally let go of it and pressed it like just enough to make it register or something like that. I don't know. So we've got some dancing coins here. Evidently, they're very happy to be alive. They're very happy to be monetary earnings for people. And up there is a place that you can go to later for the secret exit. I can't do that just yet, so I gotta abandon my block and go through here. I think I have to abandon my block anyway to go on other pipes. I mean, to go on pipes in general. It's kind of like a block filtration system, if you will. The other two coins are in the other path, so don't even bother trying to get them right now. I'll be back in just a sec after I press the switch, and the path will open right over to there. This isn't like a Switch Palace in Super Mario World. It's just a switch. You press one side, it does that. See that? It just changed the level to a red level, which is implying that it, it's not really completed. But anyway, I'm going to go back in here and do the secret exit of it. So all I have to do is go up to that pipe and go inside it. I'll see you there. And here is the block, uh, block and pipe area that I was talking about before. Is there anything inside these clouds? Just out of curiosity. Nah, I don't see anything. Uh, anything up here? Because I never tried looking up here before, so I'm just curious. No, that's okay, nothing. So, now you'll see these blocks are solid and a very bright red, may I add. And now we've got a second path going up here. So let's get on the block and ride it on up. Yeehaw! Oh, and uh, you'll notice I got a propeller power up here. Um, back over at the very beginning of this level, the block that gave me a mushroom also gives me a propeller. So if you have, you know, uh, mushroom power up ahead of time. This coin is very easy to get, so I'm not worried about losing out on that one. Do I want to hit this? Let's see what I can get. Uh, I kind of missed that coin. I would like to keep this block, because I recall needing something, or I could be thinking of the DS version. Oh, nope, I'm thinking of, thinking of the DS version. That I needed something in one of these rail levels, or platforming levels, that you need a shell to get to the area that has the coin. And uh, that is a lot of Koopas! Wow! And uh, the pipe should be coming up right there. There we go. And the normal exit is right upon us. Well, right in front of us. Just gotta do a little, a little more block platforming and... Oh wait, this is the secret exit, not the normal exit. Hm. I thought uh, they gave you the secret exit first. Again, I might, I might be thinking of the DS version with something. Like maybe I did something out of order. Anyway, that's all the exits for that one. Only, only two of them, obviously. They'll take you to a star mushroom house, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go over to here and meet you over by that pipe that I can get into for the secret exit. <laughs> and we're coming up to it right now. I have to say this area is a lot easier to beat, or get through I should say, when you have these blocks. See that? Look at all these blocks. Very nice little pattern there and it gives you this path into this pipe. And over here is a block bridge, which I'm not even going to try attempting to get those coins. This, a this area is kind of lame here, it's just a straight path. It's easier than World 1-1, I mean come on now, this is World 3 we're talking about. And the exit is right here. Normal exit! Oh, this was the one that I was thinking of that has the normal exit instead of the secret exit. I was being an idiot before! Well, that's nothing new. And that's all I'm going to do in this part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I do The Castle. Tell me.